Mars, often called the Red Planet, is the fourth planet from the Sun in our solar system. Situated about 228 million kilometers, 142 million miles away, it's about half the size of Earth, with a diameter of roughly 6,779 kilometers, 4,212 miles. Known for its reddish appearance, this color is due to iron oxide or rust on its surface. The atmosphere of Mars is thin, composed mostly of carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen and argon. This thin atmosphere doesn't offer much protection from the sun's radiation or insulate the planet well, contributing to its harsh environmental conditions. Atmospheric pressure on the Martian surface averages about 0.6% of Earth's, which means it's too thin to easily support human life as we know it. The sky appears pinkish or butterscotch colored during the day due to the scattering of sunlight by the dust in the atmosphere. At sunset and sunrise, the sky can look blue, the opposite of Earth's conditions. Mars is home to some of the solar system's most striking geological features. It hosts the largest volcano, Olympus Mons, about 13.6 miles, 22 kilometers high, nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. It also features the largest canyon system, Valles Marineris, which stretches over 4,000 kilometers, about 2,500 miles, and is up to seven miles, 11 kilometers deep. Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, which are thought to be captured asteroids. Phobos orbits closer to Mars than any other moon orbits its planet in the solar system. A day on Mars, a Sol, is slightly longer than an Earth day, lasting about 24 hours and 37 minutes. A Martian year is 687 Earth days long. Evidence strongly suggests that Mars once had liquid water flowing on its surface, evident from dried up river valleys and lake beds. Today there is water on Mars, mostly in the form of ice. The planet has polar ice caps that contain frozen water and carbon dioxide. There's also evidence of underground water ice. These findings lead scientists to investigate Mars's potential for supporting life, past or present. Mars is a prominent target for future human exploration, with various space agencies planning manned missions in the coming decades. Challenges for human habitation on Mars are significant, including the need for life support systems, protection from radiation, and the development of sustainable food and water sources. The Martian soil, known as regolith, composed of finely divided dust and rock, can be a resource for producing oxygen, water, and rocket fuel for future explorers. Temperatures on Mars can vary widely due to its thin atmosphere, from about minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 125 degrees Celsius, at the poles during winter, to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, at noon near the equator. Several rovers have explored Mars, including Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance. These rovers, along with numerous landers and orbiters, have studied Mars from the surface and orbit respectively, providing invaluable data on Mars' climate, geology, and potential for life. Mars experiences massive dust storms that can cover the entire planet. These storms can last for months and significantly change the surface. While no life has been found on Mars, the presence of water ice and past evidence of liquid water suggest it could have once supported microbial life. Like Earth, Mars experiences seasons because of the tilt of its rotational axis. However, the Martian seasons are about twice as long due to its longer orbit around the Sun. This orbital pattern results in extreme seasonal variations that affect the planet's climate and atmospheric conditions. The extended seasons contribute to the complexity of planning surface missions as they must account for wide temperature changes and varying solar energy levels. Unlike Earth, Mars does not have a global magnetic field today which would otherwise offer protection against cosmic and solar radiation. However, scattered patches of magnetized crust on Mars suggest that it once possessed a magnetic field similar to Earth's. This evidence indicates a dynamic geological history and suggests that Mars may have once had conditions more favorable to life. Missions to Mars have included orbiters, landers and rovers, with the goal of learning more about the planet's geology, climate and potential for life. One of the most recent missions, NASA's Perseverance rover, which landed in February 2021, is part of an ongoing effort to collect samples that could provide insights into the planet's past habitability. These missions collectively aim to pave the way for future human exploration and potential colonization.
They also seek to answer fundamental questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth and how planetary systems evolve. The challenges for human habitation on Mars are significant and multifaceted. In addition to the need for life support systems and protection from severe radiation, there is the challenge of developing sustainable food and water sources. Living on Mars would require solving how to efficiently recycle water and air, and how to either transport enough food from Earth or grow it on Mars. The Martian regolith could be crucial in overcoming some of these challenges. It has the potential to be processed into building materials, oxygen, water, and even rocket fuel. NASA and other agencies are researching technologies like 3D printing that could utilize the regolith to build structures and manufacture essential supplies on Mars. The exploration of Mars continues to captivate the imagination of scientists, engineers, and the general public alike. As robotic missions become more sophisticated and our understanding of the Martian environment improves, the prospect of human missions to Mars draws closer. The Red Planet not only holds keys to our solar system's past, but potentially to new homes or refuges for humanity in the future. One of the most famous images taken of Mars by the Viking One Orbiter in 1976 showed a formation that looked like a human face. This led to widespread speculation about its origin. Later high-resolution imaging and analysis showed that it was a natural rock formation. Over 100 meteorites found on Earth are believed to be from Mars, ejected from the planet's surface into space by powerful impacts and eventually falling to Earth. These meteorites are invaluable for studying Mars geology and atmospheric history without having to return samples from the planet. InSight's discoveries. NASA's InSight lander, which arrived on Mars in 2018, was tasked with studying the planet's interior, but also provided fascinating insights such as detecting Mars quakes, studying how much heat escapes from the planet's interior and the nature of Mars core. Zodiacal light on Mars. Mars, like Earth, experiences zodiacal light, which is sunlight reflected by interplanetary dust. This phenomenon has been observed by several Mars missions and offers clues about the distribution of dust in the Martian atmosphere. The beauty of Mars is stark and otherworldly, offering landscapes and vistas that captivate both scientists and artists alike. Unlike the lush blues and greens of Earth, Mars presents a palette of dusky reds, oranges and butterscotch yellows, that speak to its iron-rich soil and oxidized surface. Here are some aspects of the Martian beauty that stand out. Mars experiences massive global dust storms that can envelop the entire planet, creating an ethereal and ghostly appearance as the red dust swirls in the thin atmosphere. Additionally, Mars also hosts delicate cloud formations made of ice crystals, which can be seen floating above the surface, adding a dynamic element to the Martian sky. Martian sunsets bring a surprising splash of color to the planet. As the sun sets, it casts a blue glow in the thin Martian atmosphere due to the way the light scatters off the particulate matter. This creates a surreal and peaceful twilight that contrasts sharply with the daytime skies. With minimal light pollution and a thin atmosphere, the night sky seen from Mars is incredibly clear, showcasing a brilliant tapestry of stars, the Milky Way, and even Earth itself. The view of celestial bodies from Mars offers a unique perspective, with some appearing significantly brighter or in different positions than they do from Earth. The remote and untouched quality of Mars adds to its allure, reminding us of the planet's quiet solitude that has persisted for millions of years. This desolation, while stark, speaks to the adventurous spirit, challenging humanity to reach further and explore what lies beyond our own world. The beauty of Mars is characterized by its stark, rugged landscapes and the profound quiet of a planet untouched by human presence. Each feature of Mars, from its towering mountains and vast canyons to its icy poles and ethereal sunsets, invites contemplation of the natural forces that shape our universe. Mars shows evidence of having had a much warmer and wetter climate in its distant past which is a significant contrast to the cold, arid planet we see today. The ancient riverbeds, lake beds and mineral deposits that suggest the presence of liquid water imply that Mars had a thicker atmosphere, capable of supporting higher temperatures and a hydrological cycle. The transformation in Mars's climate is largely due to the loss of its atmosphere. Mars's atmosphere is thin, 
and composed mainly of carbon dioxide, with only trace amounts of water vapor and other gases. This thin atmosphere is insufficient to retain significant heat or protect the surface from radiation. NASA's MAVEN, Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution. Mission has provided evidence that solar wind and radiation stripped away much of Mars's atmosphere, leading to a decline in surface temperatures and the disappearance of liquid water. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more content like this, then please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.